friends, and welcome to Saturday right here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS, get ready to learn something new today and to review this week's lessons. My name is Gabe. And I'm Andrea. Well, Gabe, it is Saturday. It's a beautiful summer's day. I think we should go to the beach. The beach? That sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Okay, well, actually, Gabe, let's go as we review our lesson for this week. This week in our Hualien story, our friends were at the beach. That's right. Roger, Patty, and Daisy are at the beach, and they also run into someone else. Well, Patty runs into someone else. Who does Patty run into? I know. Patty runs into Derek at the beach. Now remember, that just means that she meets Derek, but she wasn't planning on meeting him. It was a surprise to meet him at the beach. That's right. You know, I have another question for everyone. The question is, what did Derek lose? What? Did Derek lose? Derek lost his watch, but Patty helped him find it. That's right. He lost his watch, and actually, Patty helped him find it. Gabe, you just said one of our key words from this week. Actually, let's say that together again. Actually, now, Gabe, how do you spell this key word? That's a good question, friends. Do you know how to spell actually? A C T U A L L Y. Actually. You got it. And actually, Gabe, it's、mm. time for us to begin our review. Good. Conversation replay. Patty. Roger and Daisy are in a grocery store. They are looking for things for a picnic. They are going to the beach soon. They are excited. Roger is taking a lot of things off the shelves. Patty and Daisy put some things back. They don't need so much stuff. They only buy the picnic things. They leave the store and go to the beach. <laughs> I love the beach. Me too. Hey, Roger, does this beach have cute lifeguards? I don't know. <laughs> How do I say, help, I'm drowning in Chinese? You can just say, Joe Ming. Can you swim, Patty? Yes, but maybe I can practice Chinese with a cute lifeguard. Oh, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> My skin is too white. Roger, do you want some sunscreen? Not yet. I'm going in the water first. Are you girls coming? Let's go. Me too. Swimming is fun. I like swimming in a pool better, though. The water is cleaner and it doesn't have salt in it. Well, you don't have to drink the ocean water. I didn't try to drink it. You splashed me. The water went into my mouth. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're right. Hey. Many people in the ocean today. Maybe Chinese people don't like to swim. No, you're wrong. 
I see Chinese people at the pool all the time. Some of them are great swimmers. Oh, well, maybe they're not here to swim. Maybe they just come to the beach to have fun. That's why we're here. Hey guys, let's go for a walk along the beach. Okay. I'm going to lie here on my towel a little longer. I want a tan. Come on. You can go with us and get a tan at the same time. Oh, all right. But first, you both really need to put on some suntan lotion. That was a fun walk, Patty. But the rocks on the beach hurt my feet. Why don't you wear sandals? I told you to. And I'm hot, too. We walked a long time. We did, but I found some pretty rocks. I'm glad, but let's go swimming now. I want to cool down. That sounds good. Let's go swimming again. Wait, take my picture first. Okay. Patty, are you coming with us? No. I want to look for more pretty rocks now. Do you collect them? Yes. My brother and I always collect shells and rocks when we go to the beach. Fun! Do you want some help? We can look for more rocks with you. <laughs> That's okay. You two go swimming. I mean, Dwei Bu Chi. Chi. Are you okay? <gasps> you speak English. Hey, do I know you? Yes. Hello, Patty. I'm Derek. You saw me at the tea house? Oh, right. <laughs> Hi. You look different with sunglasses on. Sorry to bump into you. That's okay. Are you looking for rocks too? No, I'm looking for my watch. I lost it. I'm sorry. Hey, I can help you. We can look for it together. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry we didn't find your watch, Derek. I'll look for it again after we eat. We'll help you too. Thanks. Mmm, this sandwich is so good. Yes, it is. Daisy, I'm so glad you could come down from Taipei this weekend. Me too. I've had a lot of fun today. And Derek, thanks for joining our picnic. Thanks for inviting me. Do we have any more ice? My drink is warm. No, sorry. I'll go to the store and get some for you, Patty. Oh, well, I'll go with you. That girl is pretty. Pretty. Daisy would like her tan. Hey, her watch looks like mine. Really? Maybe it is yours. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. Excuse me? What time is it? It's five o'clock. Thanks. That's a very nice watch. May I see it? Uh, okay. Uh, Patty, what are you doing? Just trust me. Do you wear your watch very often? I wear it all the time. Even today? Outside in the sun? Yes. So, your skin is probably white where the watch would be? Uh, just give me my watch back. No, this isn't your watch. Dear Journal, today was the best day. Daisy came down from Taipei and Roger took us to the beach. The drive there was beautiful. I loved watching the ocean waves. I loved everything about the beach. I loved swimming and looking for pretty rocks and shells. 
Also, I saw some crabs, but I didn't touch them. Roger wanted me to, but I was scared. And I solved another mystery. Well, it wasn't a big mystery. I just helped someone find something. I saw Derek, our server from the tea house we went to on my second day in Taiwan. Actually, I didn't see him, and he didn't see me, and we bumped into each other. I was embarrassed, but it was kind of funny. Derek lost his watch on the beach, so I helped him look for it. We couldn't find it. Then, Derek joined us for our picnic. The food tasted so good. I wanted some ice, so Derek and I went to the store. On the way, we saw a pretty girl with a tan and a nice watch. It looked like Derek's watch, so we went to talk to her. The girl said she wore the watch all the time, but she didn't have a tan line on her wrist from wearing a watch. So I knew she lied. Well, I'm feeling very tired from all the sun and excitement. Beach girl, Patty. Beat the G E P T. 大家好，我是 Thomas， 又到了我们 Beat the G E P T 战胜全民演的时候了。今天我们来看段落与填空。首先这边提到说 ，Do you want to make the world a better place？ 所以呢，世界可以成为一个更美好的地方，我们可以帮忙哈，我们可以协助，我们可以尽上摆上自己的力量。You can 做得到的 Just look for ways to help others out. Everybody 什么 help sometimes. 每一个人总有这么样一个时候嘛，有时候需要人家来帮忙，需要帮助。所以这是一个事实。如果是事实或者是真理的时候呢，要用现在式。所以呢 ，A B。B 是 needs， 因为 everybody 后面应该用第三人称单数现在式要加 s。Everybody needs help sometimes， and that's a fact。这是一个事实嘛哈？所以前面的 A 没有第三人称单数的变化不对。C 的 have needed 或者是 needing 在时态上面不对，所以应该要选 B。Needs everybody needs help sometimes。我们来看下一题。这边说 some places also need help。Helping others out, even when you don't, 什么 is important. 这句话的意思是说 ，helping others out is important. 帮忙人家能够解决一些的事情呢，是重要的。但是这边说 ，even when you don't, 什么呢 ？A pay, B be paid, C get paid, D be paying. 所以呢，意思说，如果即便是在你没有。被人家付钱，换句话说，没有金钱的酬佣的时候，来协助人家也是很好的、啊。Helping others out even when you don't get paid. To get paid 是一个动词的片语的用法哈。To get paid 也就等于 receive money. Even when you don't receive money, it's okay. 还是可以帮忙。我们来看下一题。这一段提到说。Do you like children? 你喜欢小朋友吗？比如说，在很多的地方我们可以帮忙。比如说，照顾小朋友呢 ？Many places need people to help. Help 后面呢要接原形动词哈。Help, help do what? Well, many places need people to help. A look after. Look after 后面就不用加 off 了。Many places need people to help look after children 就可以了。Care 应该要用介系词 for。C 的 take care 就可以了，因为呢是 take care of。Many places need people to help take care of children。很多地方需要人来帮忙照顾小孩子。D 的 watch 后面也是直接接受词哈 ，to watch children。所以呢，答案选 C。我们来看下一题。这边提到说 ，This world has many dirty places。很多地方也很脏啊。如果你没办法照顾小朋友，也许你可以帮忙打扫清理啊。Help clean them 什么呢 ？A in 不对 ，through 也不对 ，C off 也不对。哦、oh, ，打扫清理应该是 clean them up， clean it up。Help clean them up 表示说 help clean those dirty places up， 
，帮忙来整理清理这些的地方，打扫这些的地方。我们来看下一题。这边呢提到说 ，You can help many places。其实你如果想想的话，很多的地方需要人的帮忙。我不妨一试嘛，不妨一试的成语叫做 Give it a try。Try 是尝试，在这里当名词。Give it a try， 你也可以说 Give it a shot。You can try。所以呢，用 make 不对，用 keep 也不对。比如说，我们常常说 Keep trying， 继续尝试啊。但是在这边不能用这样的用法。Take it a try 也不对。所以不妨一试的成语是 Give it a try。You can help， 你可以帮忙的。不妨一试，来试试看，协助这个世界变成更美好的地方。以上讲解清楚了吗？各位同学，段落填空要特别注意那个段落填空的地方，跟段落跟整文整个的文章有什么关系？这样子研究下去，你就可以 beat the GPT 战胜全民解。Song time. You know, practicing the GPT -E、can really make a difference when you take the test, and you know. Reviewing what we learned together this week really makes a difference. Yes, it does. It makes a difference to practice what you have learned. Man, it's cool to practice these things. You know what else is cool? What else is cool, Gabe? The song time for this week. Make a difference. Yes, make a difference. When you make a difference. People notice what you have done. That's right. They notice what you do, and it's also very important when you are doing something or when you are saying something to mean what you say. Well, let's review. It will make a difference. Here we go. Yeah. Are you ready? Like this. Everyone, well, Gabe,、yes. do you still want to go to the beach? Yes, let's go. Okay. Well, first, Gabe, we have to talk about what we're going to bring to the beach. What should we take? Oh, well,、uh, if we're going to go swimming, we need to bring our swimsuits.、Um, oh, it might be hot out, so we should bring our sunscreen. Yes. And it's really fun to play with a beach ball. Ooh. Good idea, and don't forget a towel. We might like to lie down on a towel or use a towel after we go swimming. That's right. Hey, all those words we just said—I think they're a part of this week's word, word power. power. That is true. Well, friends, let's review words that talk about the beach. Are you ready? Let's go. It's time for word power. 
This week we are talking about beach activities. What a beautiful day! Let's go to the beach. At the beach, we can play with a beach ball. It's a big ball filled with air. Beach ball. Beach ball. Do you want to go swimming? Good. Put on your swimsuit. Then you can go swimming. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Did you enjoy swimming? Now you need to dry yourself. Get a beach towel. It's a very big towel. Use it to dry your body. Beach towel. Beach towel. Sunscreen is very important. The sun can hurt your skin. Put on some sunscreen to take care of your skin. You don't want to get burned. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Ouch! The sand is hot. Wear your sandals so you won't burn your feet. Sandals. Sandals. Going to the beach is a lot of fun. Remember all these words when you're talking about beach activities. Then you'll have word power. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today as we reviewed our week together. Now, Gabe, we talked about the beach. We learned words, things that we need to take to the beach, and now I think it's finally time for us to go to. We can go to the beach. Yes, we can. Oh, that's great! I'm so excited.、Uh, well, are you ready? Well, I'm ready. But first, let's say goodbye. Thank you all for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English, where. Learning, Learning English, English can, can be, be fun. fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Are you ready? Like this. You can make a difference if you try. Come on. We can make a difference, you and I. She can make a difference here at school. He can make a difference, man. It's cool. Oh. And welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. My name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. And this week we are learning how to talk about helping people. And friends, we want to help you learn some key words. So please say them with us. Our first one is camp. Camp. Lisa is going to camp for three weeks. She's excited. Coach. Coach. The coach teaches the team about basketball. Care. Care. Avery works very hard. He cares about his work. Mind. Mind. Come to my house after school. My parents don't mind. Well, everyone, let's look at these words one more time. The first one is camp. Camp. Coach. Coach. Care. Care. Mind. Mind. Great job, everyone! Now let's go see someone we care a lot about. His name is Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Do you mind if I give you today's mission? Of course, we don't mind, Eddie. We love when you give us today's mission. Great! I love that. Then here it is. Today's mission. Where is Simon working? Where is Simon working? Where will you find the answer? You'll find it in today's conversation. So, friends, let's begin.
Hi, Renee. I have a letter for you. It's from Simon. A letter from my honey? Thanks, Betty. You're welcome. This letter is from Effingston. What is Simon doing there? He is working at a summer sports camp. Simon is a coach. Good for him. How long is the camp? It's a 10-day camp. Well, Betty comes into the diner and has a letter for Renee and Gabe. Who is the letter from? Renee's letter is from her honey, her husband, Simon. That's right, her honey. Now, sometimes we call a person who we love our honey. Maybe your husband or your wife is your honey. And Simon is definitely Renee's honey. Now, what is Simon doing? Well, Simon is working at a... Uh, well, wait a second. That's the answer to today's mission. The question is, where is Simon working? Where is Simon working? He is working at a summer sports camp. Yes, he's at a summer sports camp. And we have a key word in that answer. The key word is camp. Camp. A camp is a place that you go to for a short time. You can go to a camp to learn about something or just go to a camp to get away from everyday life. And like you said, you can go to a camp. You can also say, I will go to camp or I will go to the camp. Now, there are different kinds of camp. Simon is at a summer sports camp. There might be a camp in the winter. You would call that a winter camp. And at this summer sports camp, Simon is a coach. That means he is helping people and teaching them about sports. Let's look at that keyword, coach. Say it again, coach. A coach is someone who teaches other people a sport. So Simon is a coach at this summer sports camp. You might call him Coach Simon. If I was a coach, then you might call me Coach Harbor, Coach Gabriel Harbor. Yes, Coach Harbor. Well, Simon is at a 10-day camp, and I'm sure we'll be learning more about it. For now, let's go see Thomas. 大家好，我是 Thomas。首先来看 Honey，Honey honey 可以当蜂蜜，蜂蜜蜜蜂制造出来的蜂蜜。那么制造蜂蜜的蜜蜂就叫做 Honey Bee， 直接加一个 B E E 在 Honey 的后面就可以了。称呼人的话呢，是比如说夫妻中间的亲密的称呼 Honey，I'm home， 亲爱的，我回来了。这个时候也可以用 Honey。接下来我们来学 camp 的用法。camp 可以是指营地，包括营房、建筑物等等。a camp 这个是一个营地。前面也可以加其他的形容的用法，来看这样子的营会是什么样一个性质。比如说 a sports summer camp， 一个夏令的运动营。那如果是篮球营呢？你也可以说 a basketball camp。那么，如果是美式足球营呢 ？A football camp。但是如果是在指营会的活动的话，前面的不定冠词就可以不用了。比如说 ，I'm going to camp for ten days. I'm going to camp for ten days. 我呢要去参加这个营会十天。Going to camp。这样的时候，前面 camp 的前面。就不用加不定冠词了。另外这边提到说 ，it's a ten-day camp。那所以你就可以可以说我 I'm going to camp for ten days。另外如果要用介系词的话，用 at at football camp at sports camp。那么有一次呢，在我们的运动营，在我们的运动的营会，在我们的足球的营会、篮球的营会，那么要用 at。后面提到 coach，coach coach 是教练，所以如果篮球教练 a basketball。Coach， 如果是我的跑步的教练 ，a running coach。我们来看下一段。Ten days is a long time. What does Simon do at the camp? 
He teaches 11 and 12 year olds about sports. How many children are at the camp? There are about 200 kids at the camp. Wow, that's a lot of kids. Yes, but Simon really likes them. He cares a lot about children. That's great. That is great. Now, Andrea, how many kids are there at this camp? There are 200 kids at camp. Wow, that's a lot of kids. And friends, that's a good phrase to know. That's a lot of something. Let's use it in another way. There were 5,000 people at the show. Wow, that's a lot of people. Yes, and and I saw 10 cockroaches in my kitchen last night. Oh no, Gabe, that's a lot of cockroaches. Yes, let's not talk about that anymore. So there were 200 kids at this camp. That's a lot of kids. Well, we find out later that Simon cares about children. Friends, learn this word, care. Care. When you care about someone, that means you have good feelings for them. You want them to be happy and to do well. You care for them. What do you care about or what do you care for? You care for things that are special to you and important to you. You care for things that mean a lot. And there are some good phrases with this word in them. Like, be careful, please, be careful, don't do anything dangerous. Or take care. Sometimes when you say goodbye to someone, you can say, take care. You want them to be careful, and you want only good things to happen to them. Or there's the phrase, I don't care. If you don't think a lot about something, then you can say, I don't care. I don't care about it. But Gabe, you, you do care about our show and our lessons, right? Oh, I care a lot about our lessons and about our friends here and about Thomas. Yes. Let's go and see him. What does Simon do at the camp? Simon Let's go camping. What does Simon do at school? Simon 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 he teaches eleven and twelve year olds about sports. So the twelve year olds. 用连字号形成一个复合的名词表示十二岁的学员十二岁的小朋友十一岁的小朋友有很多呢 is an 11 year old boy She is a 12 year old girl 这样子一个用法 后面提到care这个动词 he cares a lot about children. 他非常关心这些小朋友 to care about something. She cares about her work a lot. 他很在乎,很关心他的工作. 如果care这个动词单独来用, 你也可以说, who cares? 谁在乎呢? Who cares? I don't care. 我不在乎啊. Nobody seems to care. 好像社会上发生的事情都没有人关心,没有人在乎。这个时候可以用动词 care. Nobody cares. Well, we care. 来想想,我们在乎,我们关心。这样一个用法,我们来看下面。Simon is really enjoying this camp a lot. I'm sure he can play sports every day. Yes, Simon is a big kid. <laughs> Does the camp pay Simon? No, Simon works for free, but he doesn't mind. He doesn't? No, this camp isn't really work for Simon, it is play. <laughs> well, Simon is enjoying this camp a lot. Renee says that Simon is a big 
kid. Now, Gabe, what does she mean when she calls her husband a big kid? Simon likes to have fun, and he likes to sometimes act like a child. A kid is another way of saying child. So if you call someone a big kid, it means they're an adult, but sometimes they like to act like a child. Yes, and Simon is like a big kid at camp. He likes to play sports every day. That's right. Well, you know what? Sometimes I like being like a big kid too. Well, I see that, Gabe. You're like a big kid. You enjoy having fun. Yes, I do, and I I don't mind learning every once in a while either. You don't mind?、Hmm. Well, that's great, friends. We hope you don't mind learning this keyword with us. The word is mind. Mind. Now, if you mind something, that means you are unhappy about it, or maybe you're even a little angry. If you don't mind, that means you have no problem with it. That's right. It means it's okay. I don't mind. You can use this word in a question, a common question. Do you mind if something? Like Andrea, do you mind if I come over to your house and borrow some DVDs? Oh, Gabe, I don't mind. Please come over. Okay, good. Andrea, do you mind if I ask your age? Ah,、uh, well, yes, Gabe, I do mind. I don't want to share my age with everybody. Okay, you mind. All yes. right. Yes. Do you mind if we stop teaching for a bit and learn more with Thomas? Oh, I don't mind at all. Let's go listen to Thomas. 这里我们来学 every day 的用法。如果是 every 跟 day 分开的话，它是当副词的功用。比如说 ，He can play sports every day。他呢，每天都可以来玩，每天都可以来打球。He can play sports， 每天都可以运动。He can play sports every day。这个 every day 两个字是副词，如果把它合起来，它就变成形容词了。He can play sports every day because it's an everyday activity. It's an everyday activity. 合起来就变成形容词了。这里的 everyday activity, everyday 用来形容 activity 这个名词，所以是当形容词的用法。接着来学 mind 这个字。Mind 当动词是介意。Simon, Simon, he doesn't mind. Simon 他不介意啊。前面我们学。Doesn't care 是不在乎，但有的时候意思不太一样哦。比如说，你可以到我们家来玩啊。My parents they don't mind， 他们不介意啊，他们很欢迎啊。那如果说 My parents they don't care， 我的父母他们根本不关心，感觉上好像有点父母不关心的那种意味，意思有点不太一样。另外呢 ，mind 也可以说 ，Hey， 我刚刚跟你讲的那件事哦，呃啊，算了算了算了，算了就是说 ，Never mind，Never mind。Never mind. 有的时候人家劝你说，哎，不要管前世哦。You should mind your own business. Mind your own business 就是你只要顾自己的事就好了，不要管别人事。我们来看今天的 Word Power. Word Power. It's time for Word Power. Today we are talking about helping others. How can you make the world a better place? You can help out. Helpers help people. Today we have a few helpers. They work, but they do not get any money. Helper. Helper. The helpers are going to help clean up a park. When you clean up, you make a place look nice and clean. This park is a little dirty. Clean up, clean up. This park is dirty. It has a lot of trash. Trash is what we throw away. Some people leave their trash everywhere. It makes places look bad. Helpers can pick up the trash and put it in trash bags. Trash, trash. When you are walking outside, you walk on the ground. 
The ground is under your feet when you are outside. Ground. Ground. We can recycle some of the trash. When you recycle, you help the earth. Things that are recycled can be used again. You can recycle paper and other things. Recycle. Recycle. Where can you help out? Remember these words the next time you do, and you will have word power. Conversation replay. Hi, Renee. I have a letter for you. It's from Simon. A letter from my honey. Thanks, Betty. You're welcome. This letter is from Evanston. What is Simon doing there? He is working at a summer sports camp. Simon is a coach. Good for him. How long is the camp? It's a ten-day camp. Ten days is a long time. What does Simon do at the camp? He teaches 11 and 12 year olds about sports. How many children are at the camp? There are about 200 kids at the camp. Wow, that's a lot of kids. Yes, but Simon really likes them. He cares a lot about children. That's great. Simon is really enjoying this camp a lot. I'm sure. He can play sports every day. Yes, Simon is a big kid. <laughs> Does the camp pay Simon? No, Simon works for free, but he doesn't mind. He doesn't? No, this camp isn't really work for Simon. It is play. <laughs> Calendar phrase. I'm coming. Whoa. Oh, I thought maybe Andrea, we could. You that know, looks dangerous. It is. It Andrea, is. Andrea, can I help you? Oh, thank you, Gabe. Yes, you can help me. Thank you. Andrea, this Gabe. is really scary. Okay, Gabe, can I help you? Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I got it. Thank I got you it. So it's much. okay. Andrea, that sounds like today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Our phrase is Can I help you? Can I help you? Now, if you see a friend or someone who looks like they need some help, Andrea, you need some help. Yes, Gabe. Can, can I help you? Yes, you can. Thank you, Gabe. You're welcome. Oh, Wait, no. Gabe, Andrea. Can I help you? Say the phrase. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. Okay. And our oh, that's Skin better. Is right now. Yes, and it will help you. Can I help you? Can I help you? 我能帮你忙吗 What are you doing this weekend? I'm cleaning my grandma's house. Can I help you? I don't think so. Why not? I can do many things. Can I help you? Well, can you clean? My grandma's house is very dirty. Yes. Can I help you? Sure. Thanks, John. Can I help you? Can I help you? 我能帮你忙吗 It is time for the Q O D. Yes, and Eddie, we know you care about this question a lot. So, can you give it to us? Of course. The Q O D is what do you care about? Why? What do you care about? Why? I care about my mom because my mom cares about me. Love you, mom. Gabe, that is sweet. Well, friends, we care about all of you. So please join us again tomorrow, right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be, be fun. fun. Goodbye. Bye, we Bye. care about you. Are you ready? Like this. You
Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new with us today. I'm Andrea, and my name is Gabe. And our lesson today is called "How Can Sarah Help?" Well, we'll find out here in today's lesson. But first, let's look at our key words. The first key word here is hospital. Hospital. Simon's sister went to the hospital. She is very sick. Nurse. Nurse. The nurse helps the doctor in the hospital. Serve. Serve. Justin served some food to his wife during dinner. Poor. Poor. Fred doesn't have much money. He is poor. Help. Help. Susan washed clothes for her mom. She's a big help. And saying these key words again is a big help. Friends, our first key word is hospital. Hospital. Nurse. Nurse. Serve. Serve. Poor. Poor. Help. Help. Well, Andrea, something that will help us right now is getting today's mission from Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Yeah.、Uh, what's today's mission? Oh, oh, today's mission. Ah,、uh, well, ah,、uh, here it is. Today's mission. What did Renee do before? What did Renee do before? No, I'm not sure what Renee did before. But I'm sure we'll find the answer in today's lesson. Now, friends, make sure you listen for our key words here, and let's go right now. Oh, good! You're both here. Hello, Sarah dear. Hi. Can you two help me with something? Sure. How can we help? Well, it's summer now, so I have a lot of free time. That's nice. I want to do something useful with my time. Great! Are you going to get a job? Well, Renee, Sarah, and Betty are here in this conversation, and Betty says, "Hello, Sarah, dear." Now, this is a word that we hear from a husband when he is talking to his wife, right? Well, yes, that's one time you can hear the word "dear," but we also use this word. Just to talk about someone we care about. I often say to my friends, "Hello, dear. How are you?" Okay. Well, that sounds like what Betty says to Sarah. Hello, Sarah, dear. We know that Betty cares about Sarah, so she calls her dear. Yes, it's really sweet when someone calls me dear. I always like to hear it. Yes. Well, later on in this conversation, dear, we see that Sarah says, "I want to do something useful with my time." Something useful with my time. That means she wants to be helpful. And she doesn't want to waste time. That's right. She wants to use her time in a good way. She wants to do something that she can learn from, or something where she can help people. Yes, and you can use this phrase in other ways. I want to do something useful with something else. I want to do something useful with my talent, or I know Chinese. I can say I want to do something useful with my Chinese. I want to use it in a good way. And Sarah wants to do something useful with her free time. That is time that she has 
and she has no plans for that time. So will she get a job? Well, we'll find out. Don't go away. 大家好，我是 Thomas。首先来学 help 帮助这个动词。这边提到说 ，Can you two help me with something? 你们两个可不可以来帮助我做某件事呢？所以这个 with 也可以改成 to do something。比如说 ，Can you two help me to do something？ 或者直接把 to 省略 ，Can you help me do something？ 所以 help 这个字的用法呢，可以接 with 在后面，或者是接不定词的 to 加原形，或者是直接把 to 省掉，接原形都可以。后面看 free time，free time 是休闲的时间。不工作的时间，有空的时间。So I have a lot of free time. Free time 也等于 I have a lot of leisure. L e i s u r e, leisure 呢就是休闲。换句话说呢，就是空余的时间。I have a lot of leisure， 或者是 I have a lot of leisure time， 或者是 spare 也可以哈。S p a r e, I have a lot of spare time， 多余的时间，空闲的时间。那么在这样子的时间里面呢？介系词要用 in. So, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your leisure? Or what do you do in your leisure time? Well, 我想要做一些有用的事情哈，对人有益的事情，在我自己的空闲里面。I want to do something useful with my free time. 用我的空闲时间做有意义的事。我们来看下一段。No, I don't need any money. I just want to help people. Good for you, dear. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Do you two have any ideas? Well, you could help at the hospital. I did that before. What would I do at the hospital? You would help the nurses. Well, this is really sweet. Sarah says she doesn't need any money. She just wants to help people. Well, I think that's a great thing to do, a very useful thing to do, with her free time. Well, friends, we did find the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what did Renee do before? What did Renee do before? She helped at the hospital before. Yeah, so Renee used her free time to help at a hospital. Well, friends, we're going to use this time to teach our keyword, hospital. Hospital. A hospital is a building. You go to a hospital when you are sick or when you want to see a doctor. Or if you have to take someone to see the doctor. Then you take them to the hospital. You can say you are going to the hospital. Now, Andrea, is it nice and good to be in a hospital? Well, not always, Gabe. Sometimes you go to a hospital when you are hurt or sick. But it is nice to go and visit a friend in a hospital. It's a way to show that you care about your friend. That's right. And many times at the hospital, there are nice people who work there, like some of the nurses and doctors. And you just said a key word, Gabe. Let's learn it. Nurse. Nurse. A nurse is someone who helps people and doctors at a hospital. And sometimes they have things that help you. But some of these things don't feel very good. But even though nurses have things that don't feel very good, they still help you and make you better. That's true. Nurses care about you and they want to help you. And maybe they will give you a needle like Gabe has, but it's only to help you. Gabe, That's Gabe,、right. are you a nurse? Andre, it's only to help you. You're not a nurse. It's okay. Okay, let's go see Thomas. 这里我们来学 could 的用法。Could 是能够、可以，它比 can 更委婉，对别人来讲更有礼貌，更是你建议别人采纳你的说法。但是呢，决定权还是交给对方。比如说 ，Well, you could help at the hospital. 
，那么你可以去，决定权是在你了哈。我只是建议 ，Well, you could help at the hospital. 你可以在医院帮忙啊。You could, could 的这个用法，呃，我今天下午、嗯、空闲时间很多，到底要干嘛、啊？那我建议你，哦，有礼貌的建议你，决定权是在你了。要 ，You could read. 你可以念念书啊，读读书啊什么的哈。And you know, we could go shopping if you want. We could. 我们可以去买东西啊，购物啊，类似像这样。Hey, you could be right. 哎，你有可能是对的哦。Could 的一个用法。后面呢提到 hospital, hospital 医院，有一个字跟它很像，叫做 hostel, h o s t l e。它的字根来源是一模一样的哈。Hostel 是去你国外旅游的时候，你到国外旅游会碰到青年旅社，青年旅社叫做 U Hostel。招待给年轻人、学生，那么因此它的住费呢，住宿的费用是很便宜的哈。Youth hostel， 跟刚刚那个 hospital 拼音呢要小心。Hospital 呢是医院。另外，如果是不同的性质的医院，比如说儿童医院呢 ，a children's hospital。Children 一撇 s，a children's hospital。动物医院呢 ，an animal hospital。小一点的医院呢叫诊所。诊所叫做 clinic, C L I N I C, a clinic. Hey, 你看起来气色不是很好，不舒服，要不要去医院呢？ You better go to a hospital. You better 最好 you better go to the hospital 也可以哈。You better go to a hospital. You better go to the hospital and see a doctor. 给医生来看看。后面提到 nurse, nurse 是护士，所以你也可以说 Well, nurses help. Doctors at the hospital. 护士呢，帮助在医院里面的医生做事情。我们来看下一个。The hospital always needs help, Sarah, and you would do a great job. I hope so. Do you have any other ideas? You could work in a soup kitchen. A soup kitchen? What do people do there? They serve food to poor people. Friendly people like you are big help. Oh, that might be fun. Oh, that might be fun. Wait, what might be fun? Well, working in a soup kitchen might be fun. That might be fun. And friends, something else that might be fun is learning a new key word. Say this word with me: help. Help. Usually, you hear this word as a verb. To help someone means to do something that makes their life better. But here, it's a noun. Betty says the hospital always needs help. That means the hospital always needs people who will help. That's right. So if you are working at a hospital, then you are a help. For the hospital, and you can also say that someone is a big help. Andrea, thank you for helping me with my homework. You are a big help. Well, Gabe, I'm glad that I could help you. Yeah, thank you. So anyway, now you know how to use this word as a noun. Friends, let's look at some more key words. The first one here is serve. Serve. When you serve someone, like if you serve them food, you use your hands to give it to someone. You serve it to them. Yes. When you go to a restaurant, a server or a waiter or waitress will serve your food to you. They will give you your food so that you can eat. Or if you're like Sarah and you want to do something useful with your time. Then you could go to a soup kitchen and serve people there. Many people at soup kitchens are poor people, and that's another key word. Say it with me: the word poor. Poor. If someone is poor, it means they're not rich. They don't have much money or many things. A soup kitchen is a place that poor people can go to. When they don't have enough money to get food. 
So friendly people like Sarah would be a big help at the soup kitchen. Well, I know someone else who's a big help. His name is Thomas. Let's go see him. Here to learn soup kitchen. Tang soup kitchen is the kitchen. Here is not just the kitchen of your home, but is for the poor, the needy, the poor, 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 Kitchen 也可以翻译作呢汤厨，英文另外一个说法 ，a bread line。bread b r e a d， 面包 ，line 是一条线，所以他们排队呢在那边领救济的食物 ，a soup kitchen or a bread line。You could work in a soup kitchen， 可数的哈、哦。You can also work in many many soup kitchens if you have time。你可以到各地的这种领取救济食物的场所去帮忙。后面提到说 ，serve 这个动词是服侍，也是怎么样提供这些食物，免费的这些食物给穷人来吃。They serve food to poor people. Serve 是服侍或是提供的意思。另外呢 ，serve 也可以是发球，运动类的发球，像网球啦、排球啦、羽毛球都可以用 serve。发球很漂亮，你就说 ，Hey, nice serve. 后面提到的 help 是名词。Wow, you have been a great help. 你刚刚帮你的帮助真的是太大了，谢谢你。这样的意思。我们来看今天的 How to 单元。How to. Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to. Today, you will learn. How to talk about being a volunteer? A volunteer is a person who works but doesn't get paid any money. I'm picking up garbage. I need some help. I need a volunteer. Wait, I think someone is coming. Wow, there's a lot of garbage around here. You need help. I would like to help out here. You would like to help out? You can help us out with the first way. Well, I would like to help out here. You would like to help out here? Okay, you are a good volunteer. What's the second way? Well, the second way is, can I help out here? Can I help out here? What is the third way? What can I do to help out? What can I do to help out? You can help out by picking up garbage. Okay. But first, review. I would like to help out here. Can I help out here? What can I do to help out? You can be a volunteer too. Now you know how to talk about it. Thanks, everybody. Conversation replay. Oh, good. You're both here. Hello, Sarah dear. Hi. Can you two help me with something? Sure. How can we help? Well, it's summer now, so I have a lot of free time. That's nice. I want to do something useful with my time. Great. Are you going to get a job? No, I don't need any money. I just want to help people. Good for you, dear. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Do you two have any ideas? Well, you could help at the hospital. I did that before. What would I do at the hospital? You would help the nurses. The hospital always needs help, Sarah. And you would do a great job. I hope so. Do you have any other ideas? You could work in a soup kitchen. A soup kitchen? What do people do there? They serve food to poor people. Friendly people like you are big help. Oh, that might be fun. Calendar phrase. Andrea, thank you for helping me with my 
homework. It was a big help. Thank you for your help. Gabe, no problem. I am happy to help. Well, then can you help me right now and, and teach me today's calendar phrase? Yes, I would love to. Our calendar phrase is, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Now, if someone helps you, it's always nice to hear thank you, so you can say... Thanks for your help. So, thank you, Andrea, for helping me with today's calendar phrase. Thanks for your help. Well, Gabe, you also helped me, so thanks for your help. And everyone, we want you to be helped right now with today's calendar phrase. Skit, thank you for watching. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. 谢谢你的帮忙 We're finished. Thanks for your help, John. You're welcome. Math isn't easy. You're right. I have a hard time with math. Thanks for your help. No problem. I'm good at math, but I'm not good at English. Hey, I can help you with that. I'm good at English. Cool. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. 谢谢你的帮忙 Hello, everyone. Now it's time for the question of the day with our good friend Eddie. Yeah. Okay. Listen carefully. Here it is. The question of the day: Would you want to work in a hospital? Why or why not? Would you want to work in a hospital? Why or why not? Well, no, I wouldn't want to work at a hospital. I'm a little bit afraid of hospitals, but I think the people who work there are very important, and they are very brave. Yes, they are very brave, and that's a good answer, friends. What is your answer to this question of the day? Well, we want to thank you for joining us right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are you ready? Together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hi everyone, and welcome to our show. It's Let's Talk in English on PTS. So get ready to learn something new today. My name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. We are still learning how to talk about helping people. And friends, we have some interesting key words today to help you talk about this. Our first key word is interesting. Interesting. This is an interesting book. I'm learning a lot from it. Help out. Help out. Susie helped mom out by cleaning the bathroom. Decide. Decide. What should I eat for dinner? I can't decide. Paper. Newspaper. Paper, newspaper. Dad reads the paper every morning during breakfast. Okay, well let's look at these words one more time. The first one is interesting. Interesting. Help out. Help out. Decide. Decide. Paper, newspaper. Say it again. Paper, newspaper. Great job. Well, friends, Eddie helps us out by giving us today's mission. So let's go see him.、Mm -hmm. Eddie. Interesting. Hey. You're well, reading a newspaper. What、uh, are you reading? Oh, ah,、uh, I'm just、uh, looking for today's mission. <laughs> Oh, good. In、well. the paper? Yeah.、Uh, can you find it? No. Well, Eddie, that's interesting. Don't、yeah. you remember the mission? 
Remember? Yes. yes. Please. Oh, that's right. I remember it. Here it is. Today's mission. Who worked in a soup kitchen before? Who worked in a soup kitchen before? We'll find the answer in today's lesson. So, friends, let's begin. Did you ever work in a soup kitchen, Betty? Yes, it was a great experience. I met a lot of people. Were they nice? Most of them were, and many of them had interesting stories to tell. You'd enjoy helping out there, Sarah. And the people at the soup kitchen would love you. Do you think so? Yes, you're sweet and helpful. Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't love Sarah? You know, this is true. Sarah is sweet and she is helpful. She would do a great job at a soup kitchen. Well, here we see this question. Who wouldn't love you? Or who wouldn't love Sarah or a person? Now, Gabe, are we looking for an answer to this question? Mm, Betty is not looking for an answer. When she says, who wouldn't love you, she is saying, of course, everyone would love you. Who wouldn't love you? And who wouldn't love to have a great opportunity like this? Well, Betty says that she can meet, that Sarah can meet, some interesting people. When she worked at a soup kitchen, they had many interesting stories to tell. And friends, we have an interesting key word here. It is interesting. Interesting. If something is interesting, that means you enjoy hearing it or you enjoy learning more about it. And so if something is interesting, it means it is not boring. Betty talks about interesting stories. That means you like hearing about these stories. You can also talk about interesting people or interesting places. If you go traveling, you might visit some interesting places. Hmm, that's true. And when you visit these places or hear something interesting, you can say, hmm, that's interesting. You know what else is interesting? The next key word. That is true. Another interesting word for you. It is help out. Say it again. Help out. Now, when you help out, that means you are being useful. Help out is another word for saying help. And Renee says to Sarah, you'd enjoy helping out there. You can also use these words like this. Help me out. Help me out around the house. I need your help. Well, Gabe, can you help out with today's mission? I hope I can. Well, it's interesting because we found the answer yes, in this did. conversation. The question is, who worked in a soup kitchen before? Who worked in a soup kitchen before? Betty worked in a soup kitchen before. Well, Thomas has some more interesting things to share. He's going to help you out. 大家好,我是Thomas. 首先来学ever. Ever是曾经. Did you ever work in a soup kitchen, Betty? 你有没有曾经一度,只要有一次在这个地方工作过呢? Did you ever, did you ever sleep in a tent before? 你有没有曾经在帐篷里面度过呢? Did you ever wonder why? 你有没有曾经怀疑过是什么样的原因呢? 为什么你的朋友呢, 都离你而去? 类似这样子, Did you ever wonder why? 你有没有曾经自己检讨过呢? Hey, have you ever been to Japan? 你有没有曾经到过? 日本去旅游过呢? Have you ever been there? 那你当然要回答你说 哦, No, I have never been to Japan 所以那个ever跟never 只差了一个拼音的n在那个地方 要小心一个是曾经一个是从来没有这样子一个经验接下来来学interesting stories 有趣的故事 to tell 告诉别人 to share Many of them had interesting stories to tell. 很多人呢, 他们都有生命中很有趣的故事要告诉别人, 或者是来分享, 
many of them had interesting stories to share. S H A R E. 同样一个句型，我们也可以来造句说 ，Many of them have interesting books to read. 所以很多人呢，他们有很多很有趣的书可以来供人家阅读 ，and many of them have interesting games to play. 很多人呢有很有趣的游戏要来玩。后面用 help out. Help out 是帮人家解决问题、解决困难。哦，他要去机场，没有人载他去，怎么办呢 ？Hey, John helped Susan out by driving her to the airport. 那么 John 就替 Susan 解决了这个难处，载她去机场，就帮她解决了这个问题，不是吗？我们来看下一段。Both of those opportunities sound great. How do I decide on one? Go home and think about it. Also, look in the paper. You may be able to find more opportunities there. Okay. Maybe I'll write about my experience. Good idea. If you do, I'll put it in the newspaper. Okay. Thanks for your help, you two. No problem. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Gabe. I see you have a newspaper there. Yes, yes, I do, Andrea. I, I have the paper with me. It's very interesting. The story is very interesting. Oh well, Gabe, can I see the newspaper? Yes. Oh yes. Well, this is a very interesting story in the paper. And you know what, Gabe? Huh? We do have some interesting key words to teach. Oh, oh well, let me do that, friends. Our first word here is paper. Newspaper, paper, newspaper. The paper or the newspaper has news. This is information about what is happening in the world or in your neighborhood or city. The newspaper. So yes, you can say the newspaper, or you can also just say paper. It's a little bit shorter and easy to remember. Now, in the paper, you can also find different opportunities. Sometimes they list things where people can help out. And so, if you want to find some opportunities, the newspaper or the paper might be a good place to find these opportunities. You can say that you are reading the paper. This morning, I saw Dad reading the paper at breakfast. And there are many different kinds of paper that you can read or that you can buy. Sometimes it's hard to decide which newspaper to read. It's hard to decide which newspaper to read, but it's not hard to decide that I want to teach this key word. The word is decide. Say it again. Decide. When you decide, that means you choose. It says here, "How do I decide on one?" So, how do I decide on? How do I choose? Yes, if you have many opportunities or many choices, but you can only choose one, that means you must decide which one you want to do. Well, I decide that we should go and listen to Thomas. Sounds good, Gabe. Let's do it. 接下来看 decide 这个动词是决定。Decide how do I decide? 我要怎么做决定呢？那么如果在 decide 后面有选项的话，介系词要用 on。So there are two opportunities. 有两个机会。And how do I decide on one? 我怎么样决定在两个当中来选择呢 ？Decide on which one? 的意思要决定哪一个呢？那如果问人家说，哎，你决定了没啊 ？Have you decided yet? No, I haven't decided yet. 我还没有做决定，等于是 I haven't made a decision yet. Decision 是 decide 的名词哈 ，decision, D E C I S I O N. 后面来看 paper. Paper 如果是指纸这种物质的话，它是不可数的 ，a lot of paper. A piece of paper, 一张纸。但是如果当报纸的话，它就可数了。一份报纸 ，a paper， 或者是 a newspaper。Many newspapers, 
各家各个日报合起来，那很多份报纸啊，这个时候 newspapers 可以用复数哈，所以你可以说 any news in the newspapers today。今天在各报里面有没有什么样的新闻呢？这个时候 paper 可以加 s， 它是报纸的复数。我们来看今天的 song time。song time。Hey friends, it's that time again. It's song time. That's right, it's song time. Now last time we learned a song called making a difference. This time the song is the same, but We want to teach you something different about it. Now remember, making a difference is what it's all about. That means making a difference is very important. That's right. Making a difference is very important. But there is something else I want to teach you today, and that is do what you can do. The song says, "Helping someone out." Helping someone out. What does that mean? Well, when you help someone out, that means you help someone.、Uh, for example, do you know anybody who needs some help? Oh, I, I just fell. I can't get up. This man needs some help. I know just the thing to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I see you have a problem. I can help you out. What is the problem? I fell. I can't get up. Oh, that's okay. I will help you out. I will help you out by helping you up. Give me your hand. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you for helping me up. You really made a difference in my life today. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad, and you can make a difference in someone else's life. You can help someone else. Out. For instance, if someone new to your city is lost, you can help them out by giving them directions. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Or if someone you know is sad, you can help them out by listening to them and spending time with them. Well, the next part of the song says, "Do what you said you'd do." Do what you said you'd do. What does that mean? Well, do what you said you'd do. That means if you said you would do something,、uh, don't just say you will do something, but actually do that thing. Do what you said you'd do. Um, hey Gabe, hmm, your 垃圾掉在地上了 Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I will pick it up. <laughs> anyway, this song is <clears throat> very important. Hey, hey Gabe, <laughs> yes. Are you going to do what you said you do? What? Pick up the trash. Oh, oh! I guess I did say I would pick up the trash. I think I should do what I said I'd do. Good job. Do what you said you'd do and mean what you say. Hey Rex, that's the next part of our song. Mean what you say. If you say something, then mean it. Do you really mean it? For example. If you tell somebody, "I really, really, really love you," do you mean it, or are you just saying it so that the other person will feel happy? Or if someone hurts you and you say, "Don't worry about it, 没有关系 then mean what you say and don't be angry with them anymore. That's right. Do what you said you do and mean what you say. Okay, friends, it's that time. Rex, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, well, it's time for making, making a, a difference. difference. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Like this. <laughs> Yo, making a 
difference is what it's all about Doing what you can do and helping someone else Do what you say to do and mean what you say Showing your love to someone every day Okay, yeah Conversation Replay. Did you ever work in a soup kitchen, Betty? Yes, it was a great experience. I met a lot of people. Were they nice? Most of them were, and many of them had interesting stories to tell. You'd enjoy helping out there, Sarah. And the people at the soup kitchen would love you. Do you think so? Yes. You're sweet and helpful. Who wouldn't love you? Both of those opportunities sound great. How do I decide on one? Go home and think about it. Also, look in the paper. You may be able to find more opportunities there. OK. Maybe I'll write about my experience. Good idea. If you do, I'll put it in the newspaper. Okay. Thanks for your help, you two. No problem. Calendar phrase. What can I do? What? What can I do? Gabe, Gabe, what can you do? Yes, what can I do? Well, Gabe, we can teach the calendar phrase. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. Yes, our calendar phrase is, what can I do? What can I do? If you want to help someone, you can say, what can I do? So, Andrea, what can I do? What can I do to help? Well, Gabe, you can help me as we take our students to see our calendar phrase skit. That's a good idea. Friends, come with us as we watch today's skit right now. What can I do? What can I do? 我能帮什么忙? Why are you carrying that big bag? I'm cleaning up the city. When I see trash, I pick it up. That's nice of you. What can I do? You can help me pick up trash. OK, I need a bag. What can I do? You can take my trash away. The bag is too full. OK, then what can I do? You can buy me something to eat. I missed my lunch while I was picking up trash. What can I do? What can I do? 我能帮什么忙? Welcome back, everyone. Let's go see our friend Eddie. 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 Eddie, is it boring reading the newspaper? Eddie, are you sleeping in the newspaper? No. Eddie, you are very interesting. Yes, you are. I am. But can you help us out yes. with the question of the day? OK. Here it is, the question of the day. What is one way you can help someone out? What is one way you can help someone out? Well, if you know something and somebody else doesn't, then maybe you can teach them something. That's one way to help someone is to teach them something new. Well, friends, we hope that we can help you out here on our show with English. So be sure to join us again tomorrow on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can be fun. Be fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Are you ready? Like this. You can make a difference if you try. Come on. We can make a difference. She
To the world around. Join friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English right here on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and we have a new lesson for you here today. But we're still learning how to talk about helping people. So let's help you. We're going to teach you some key words. The first one here is paint. Paint. Jan is doing an art project. She needs some paint. Hammer. Hammer. Dan can use a hammer well. He is good at building things. Hope. Hope. The doctor's words gave hope to Grandma. She will get better. Surprised. Surprised. Did you hear that Gina is moving? I'm so surprised. Glad. Glad. Vance is glad it stopped raining. Now he can play outside. And we're glad that we can say these key words together again. The first one is paint. Paint. Hammer. Hammer. Hope. Hope. Surprised. Surprised. Glad. Glad. Well, friends, I hope you are glad because now we're going to find out what today's mission is with our dear friend Eddie. Ah! Oh! Eddie. Ah! Uh, what, what happened? Uh, I hit my finger with this hammer. Eddie, uh, did you go to the hospital? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. okay. Well, you better be, be careful. careful, Eddie. Ow. Oh, Ow. that must have hurt your yes. leg. Yes, it's okay. Can we have some, you know, help here? Uh, I'm well, fine. Okay. You, okay, can you give us the mission? Sure. Okay. Today's mission. What did Ben and Sarah do today? What did Ben and Sarah do today? Well, let's find out the answer to this mission in today's lesson right now. Sarah and Ben come into the post office. They are wearing old clothes, and they're both very dirty. Sarah has some paint on her. Ben is telling Sarah a story. He has a hammer, and he starts waving it around. Sarah laughs. Betty asks them what they were doing. Ah,、uh, Gabe. Yes. Why do you have a hammer? I have a hammer because it's one of our key words. Don't be so scared.、Uh, okay, I understand that, Gabe, but. You have to be careful with that hammer. I know. I have to be careful with the hammer. Okay, friends, let's learn this key word: the word hammer. Say it again: hammer. A hammer, like the one I have here, is something you use to hit something else through some wood or something like that. A hammer. Ah,、uh, Gabe. Do you mind if I take your hammer? Oh no, I don't mind, Andrea. Just be careful with the hammer. Yes, Gabe, I will be careful with the hammer. I won't move the hammer oh. around. Oh. I'll be careful with it <laughs> Andrea. because it's a tool,、yes. and you want to be careful. Yes, be careful with that hammer. Only use it to hit things like nails into something else. That's、mm. true. Now, why does Ben have a hammer? Well, he's using it to tell Sarah a story. 
And we notice that Sarah has some paint on her clothes. Well, friends, let's learn what that word means. The word paint. Paint. Paint is something that you use to put color on something else. Paint. What are some different things that you use paint for? Well, maybe you use paint to change the color of your walls in your room. You can also use paint to make a beautiful picture. That's right. And when you use paint to make a beautiful picture, then the word can also be a verb. You can paint the picture. So it's a noun, paint, and a verb, paint. Well, Sarah has paint on her. So what was she doing? Well, she was probably painting, right? She probably was, and I guess we'll find out. Don't go away, everybody. Let's go right now and listen to Thomas. 大家好,我是Thomas。首先来学paint这个名词,paint当颜料或者是油漆的时候,它是不可数的。所以这边提到说, Sarah has some paint on her. 在她身上有油漆。有的时候我们看到油漆未干,英文怎么讲呢? Wet paint. Wet 就是湿,湿掉的那个wet,那个形容词, wet paint, 表示说, the paint is still wet. 但是呢, paint 复数型的时候是指一罐一罐的, 比如说油画的颜料, 或者是水彩画的颜料, 那个时候, paint 就可数了, 比如说, a set of oil paints, a set 一套的这种油画的颜料, 这个时候就可以数了. 另外, 如果是 a painting, a painting 的话是指有上过颜料的话, 像油画, 水彩画, 但是如果是素描的话是 a drawing, D-R-A-W-I-N-G, 后面提到 hammer, hammer 是榔头, 或者是铁锤, 拍卖的时候, 那个敲桌子那个小木锤, 也是叫做 hammer, 比如说你可以用一个榔头或铁锤, to use a hammer, 你也可以 to wave a hammer around, 所以呢,搖動,搖動,搖動一隻鐵錘 to wave a hammer around or you can swing S W I N G to swing a hammer around 像這樣甩動它。另外呢,hammer也可以當作打敗,我們的球隊被人家打慘了,敗得很慘. Our team was hammered. 我們呢,我們的隊被人家的隊的像狼頭打到一樣,就是輸得很慘。我們來看下一段。we were building a house. Really? Yes. Sarah and I worked for Homes of Hope today. Homes of Hope? What's that? It's an organization that builds homes for poor people. That's great. So this is where you decided to help out, Sarah? Yes. I was surprised to see Ben there. But we had fun working together. I'm glad. It's always more fun to work with a friend. You're right. You know, I agree with Betty. It's always more fun to work with a friend. It's always more fun to learn with friends, too, so we're glad you're here with us. Well, friends, we did find the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what did Ben and Sarah do today? What did Ben and Sarah do today? They worked for Homes of Hope today. Yes, they were building a house. Well, now we know why Sarah had paint on her and why Ben was waving a hammer around. And friends, we know one of our key words as well. Let's learn it. It is hope. Hope. Now, when you hope that something good will happen, you want it to happen. That's right. And Andrea just used this word as a verb, but also it is a noun. Homes of hope. They want to give hope to people. You can say that you want to give hope to someone, and if you give hope to someone, then they have hope. So Homes of Hope is a good and helpful organization. We have another key word to learn. It is surprised. Surprised. Now, when are you surprised? 
Well, you are surprised when something happens that you didn't plan or that you didn't think would happen. Yes, and Sarah was surprised to see Ben helping out and building homes. She didn't plan to see him. She didn't know he would be there. She was very surprised. And sometimes you can be surprised, like at a birthday party, if there is a surprise party and you don't know about it, then when you walk in and everyone says, surprise, then you can say, I was surprised. Well, friends, I'm sure you're not surprised that we have another keyword. It is glad. Glad. Now, when you are glad, you are happy. You are happy. You can use this word like this. I'm glad I could help. Well, I'm glad that we can learn more right now with Thomas. Here is the homes of hope. Hope is hope. Hope is hope. Hey, hope. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. Why? Because you are my last hope. 你是我最后一个希望，哎，类似这样子一个用法哈。在文章里面有提到说 ，Homes of Hope is an organization. Organization 是一个组织 ，an organization。他们是做什么的呢 ？It's an organization that builds homes for poor people. 为那些比较贫穷的人建造一些房子给他们住，所以叫做希望之家。所以你看这个 that， 在文法上叫做关系代名词，它是当后面这个子句的主词，同时也连接这两个句子，所以又当人家主词又连接两个句子，这样子一个文法的功能就叫做关系代名词。Homes of hope is an organization， 一个句子 ，and homes of hope builds homes。For poor people, 现在把两句合在一起，就可以加一个 that。后面提到 surprised， 惊讶的 ，surprised。Be surprised too。后面接原形动词。I was surprised to see Ben there。哇，我在那里看见 Ben， 好惊讶哦。Hey， you look surprised。当时你好像脸上的这种表情，让我觉得你好像觉得有点惊讶这样哈。Glad。后面有一个字叫做 glad。I am glad, 高兴的，其实就差不多是 happy 的意思。I am glad to see you. I am happy to see you. I am glad I didn't go. 我很庆幸我没有去。我们来看下一段。What did you like about working on the house? I liked using the different tools, and I painted. That was fun too. My favorite part was meeting the woman who will get the house. That was cool. She's a single mom with four kids. They were living in their car <gasps> until they learned about Homes of Hope. When she saw her house today, she cried. <sighs> Now I am too. <laughs> well, friends, this is a fun conversation. <laughs> Andrea. Sorry, Gabe. Andrea, you're oh, crying. Are you okay? No. Are you sad? I'm okay. I'm not sad, Gabe. Sometimes you cry when you are happy, and I'm just so happy about this conversation. Oh, oh, really? I, it was a very beautiful conversation. Yes, it was very beautiful to think of this woman and how she got a new house, and how she cried when she got the new house. Yes, yes, she she cried. Uh, well, like Andrea said, sometimes you cry when you're happy, right? Other times you cry when you're sad.、Uh, now, anyway, I'm, I'm glad you are happy. Yes. And that we have some things to learn from this conversation, friends. Let's look at the beginning of the conversation when Betty says, "What did you like about working on the house?" That's a good phrase. What did you like about something? Andrea, you saw that movie. What did you like about that movie? Oh, what did I like about that movie? Well, I liked the music in the movie. Hey, Gabe. Yes. What did you like about your weekend? Oh, I had a great weekend. I liked that it was relaxing, and I didn't do too much. Hey, Andrea, 
What do you like about Let's Talk in English? Oh, there are many things I like about this show, but I like it when Thomas teaches us. I do too. Let's go and listen to him now. 这里看到工具的英文名词叫做 tool. Tool, 可数的哈 A hammer is a tool. 一把铁锤、榔头呢，是一件工具。A hammer is a tool, and I love using tools. 我喜欢用各式各样的工具。看到人家带那个工具的袋子在腰上面，有没有？那些工人带那个工具的那个袋子，那个叫做 tool belt。比如说 ，John is wearing a tool belt. 他有带那个工具的袋子。接下来看到单亲的妈妈叫做 single mom， single 就是单一的意思。single mom with four kids， 带着四个小孩的单亲妈妈 single。另外呢 ，single 也可以是指单身的。She is still single， 她仍然单身。后面的句型是 ，Well， they were living in their car until they learned about homes of hope。你也可以说 ，They were talking until they saw you. 本来人家聊得很愉快，一看到你就不讲话了，类似这样一个句型。来看今天的 Inspector E. Inspector E. Hi friends, I'm Mr. E. This week we talked about helping out. In today's lesson, Betty asked Sarah and Ben about their experience building a house. Let's hear what she said again. What did you like about working on the house? What did you like about working on the house? What did you like about working on the house? Sarah and Ben helped out at an organization called Homes of Hope. What did they do there? They helped to build a house for a poor family. Betty wants to know what Sarah and Ben liked about the work they did. That's why she asks, "What did you like about working on the house?" To work on something is a verb phrase that means to spend time doing something or to spend time changing something. For example, Tom worked on his math homework for an hour last night. This means that Tom spent an hour to work on or to do his math homework. Or Alice is working on becoming a nicer person. This means Alice is trying to change. She wants to become nicer. You can also work on someone. This means you want to get someone to do something for you. For example. Jack doesn't want to come to the party, but if we work on him, he will. So, what are you working on? Are you working on making your English better? I hope so. Now practice what you've learned. Remember, use it or lose it. This is Mr. E signing off. Conversation replay. Sarah and Ben come into the post office. They are wearing old clothes, and they're both very dirty. Sarah has some paint on her. Ben is telling Sarah a story. He has a hammer, and he starts waving it around. Sarah laughs. Betty asks them what they were doing. We were building a house. Really? Yes, Sarah and I. Worked for Homes of Hope today. Homes of Hope, what's that? It's an organization that builds homes for poor people. That's great. So this is where you decided to help out, Sarah? Yes. I was surprised to see Ben there, but we had fun working together. I'm glad. It's always more fun to work with a friend. You're right. What did you like about working on the house? I liked using the different tools, and I painted. That was fun too. My favorite part was meeting the woman who will get the house. That was cool. She's a single mom with four kids. They were living in their car <gasps> until they learned about Homes of Hope. 
When she saw her house today, she cried. <laughs> Now I am too. Calendar phrase. Andrea, I just have something important that I want to tell you. Oh, well, Gabe. That is sweet. What do you want to tell me? Well, Andrea, I just think you're a big help. Gabe. Yeah. Are you calling me big? Big? No. You said I'm a big help. No, Andrea. That, that's not what I mean. I mean you help in big ways. You're a big help. Oh, I'm a big help. So I help you a lot. Yes. Yes, Andrea, and that is today's calendar phrase. You're a big help. You're a big help. Well, we hope something can help you out right now. That is our calendar phrase skit. That's a big help. It is a big help. Let's go. <laughs> You're a big help. You're a big help. You 帮了大忙 Thanks for helping me with my homework. It was hard. You're a big help. You are welcome. And thank you for helping me fix my radio. That wasn't easy. You're a big help. You are very welcome. Oh, and thank you for helping me take care of my baby sister. That wasn't easy. You're a big help. You're welcome. I'm glad we can help each other. That's what friends are for. You're a big help. You're a big help. 你帮了大忙 Hello again, everyone. You know what time it is right now? It's time for the Q O D, the question of the day with Eddie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eddie,、uh, how is your hand? My, it still hurts. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, the Q O D. You you want the question of the day? Yes. yes. Okay, here it is. Would you like to help build a house? Why or why not? Would you like to help build a house? Why or why not? Yes, I would like to help build a house. It's a great way to help out people. Hey, that's a pretty good answer. Friends, what is your answer to this question? Thank you so much for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English here on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. fun. Bye bye. Goodbye. Are you ready? Like this. You can make a difference if you try. Come on. We can make a difference, you and I. She can. Make